Greetings again, Joombas. Here we go again. We got the next stat we're going to talk about would be attractiveness. In the book, this one is abbreviated as ATT. Uh, my stuff, I'll usually abbreviate it as ATTR, just to be a little more clear. Uh, of course, the actual and the full name of the stat, attractiveness. Um, this one is, well, it's, it's kind of superficial, but cyberpunk is a very style over substance. Um, attitude is everything. How you look is more important than what you do. How you look doing something is more important than how you actually did on that task. So, in other words, you're out of the club, you're doing an event, you're uh, on a job trying to rescue somebody. It's more important how you look doing it than actually what you did. So, in other words, you could have gotten shot all up, you might have completely failed at whatever the task was, but if you can make yourself look good enough doing it, in the end, it will have a positive effect of it on your rep and a positive effect on your character in the game. That's the way cyberpunk works. That's the world. So the higher attractiveness, the better. Of course, for characters for roles that rely on their looks as part of their personality, as part of their job or what they do, who they are, rocker boys, rocker girls, medias, that's who its most attractiveness is most important to. But again, it's a big deal in cyberpunk. So any role, any character, high attractiveness is going to be important. Now there is, of course, just like for the other stats that we haven't really gotten into this yet, but there is cyberware, bioware, and other things that can help you improve your stat after character creation, but we'll get into that stuff in other videos. Right now we're just talking about base stats and how they work, how they affect things. Attractiveness, according to the Master School skill list in the book, only has two skills associated with it. Personal grooming, wardrobe and style. Personal grooming is pretty obvious. The, the basic stuff of styling, of being clean, <laughs> use deodorant, that kind of stuff. Um, but if you want to be, you know, most everybody knows how to do these things. If you have a one in personal grooming, you can do the basics. But if you want to have that killer haircut, if you want to find a way to have the most in the most current trendy style of clothing, of suit, of dress, or whatever it is, that's where you need these two skills. And the higher they are, the better you are at it. The higher you roll, and I do recommend refs make their characters roll, their players roll, personal grooming and wardrobe and style before any particular big event in the game, going to a club, going to a meeting, anything like that. And even putting that aside, at least at the beginning of the the day, so to speak, whenever the character is about to leave their place of residence, their apartment, their house, <laughs> their van, their campsite, whatever it happens to be, the alley on 5th, whatever it is, when they're going to be leaving, that's something you should have them roll then. And then again, also right before they're going to some any kind of a major event or meeting or anything like that so that you get a feeling how good is their personal grooming did they comb their hair right did they get it to look the way is appropriate for their character for the situation uh, wardrobe and style you could have it doesn't matter how crappy your clothes are but if you can make them look good if you have the attitude you have the ability to make that well shabby chic if you can carry it off you need wardrobe and style if you want to be able to carry that off you need to roll well that's how that works Cyberpunk, remember, style over substance. Attitude is everything. Attractiveness is important to every single role, but most important for the ones that, you know, are where that's part of their, uh, part of what they do, medias and rockers, as I mentioned before. Um, that sums it up. Style over substance. The good. Hmm. This one. I think that covers it. I wanted to look at my notes and make sure I hadn't missed anything. I wanted to make sure I mentioned on this one. And again, I mentioned I'm doing this five-day challenge. Five every day, five videos at least, are going to be uploaded to YouTube for me from talking about Cyberpunk, talking about 2077, talk about Red if we get any more news on it someday. Um, any of that stuff, anything to do with Cyberpunk, that's going to be part of these, this video series stuff on this channel. Uh, right now, I am going through the series on statistics. Went through 
um, rolls on my last series. And next we're gonna go back, come back, spin back around, we're gonna cover uh, career skills, the 10 skills that every role has that's part of your career skill package. And what we're doing here, we're building the basics. We're doing building the foundation, the groundworks, <laughs> and any you know other trope there I can think of that has to do with the beginnings of something, um, of building a new character. That's one of the things we're going to get to. It's actually building a character start to finish. But you have to have all these little things down of how all the what is the skills, what are the uh, stats, how do those work. In the future video, we're going to talk about character points and how that works. We're going to talk about skill points. We're going to talk about pickup points. We'll get to all that, but we're going to cover this, this stuff first. So that's it for the attractiveness video. Up, down, let me know. Comments in the usual place um, that YouTube provides, as another famous YouTuber says. Um, anything else you want to know? You want me to get in more into detail on something? You don't like my videos? You do like my videos. Let me know what you think. Talk to you on the next one. Thank you for watching.